Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about a quick, easy modification you can make to your Rogue Series racks that not only makes it look better, but perform better potentially as well and open up a whole bunch of more functionality features to it. Now, like most people, when I was buying my Rogue rack, you're giving some configuration options. Namely, in this case, what I'm gonna focus on are the cross members you can select for both the front and the rear. And 99% of the time, I see most people go with the same kind of options, which is a standard cross member in the back or perhaps one with a nameplate, like for example, the one I have here. And in the front, some sort of pull-up bar option, whether it be a fat bar, skinny bar, combo bar, it's usually a cross member and a pull-up bar. And Rogue doesn't give you the option for a third choice. And I bring that up because in my opinion, even though the racks look great, it's super functional because most people wanna again be able to do pull-ups, it doesn't really look right because it has kind of an open air feel to it in the front. Almost like if you're looking at a beautiful person with a very nice smile, and when they're looking at you, you notice a big gap in their teeth. And that's kind of what I look at now with this pull-up bar. And once you see it, you can't really unsee it. So I wanted to do something that's gonna really give the rack the look I wanted as well as add in some much needed functionality. Because to be honest, even though I would prefer it to look a little different, I'm not the type to necessarily spend money just simply for aesthetics. And I can almost say that with a straight face because if you could watch my channel for any length of time, I spend a lot of money on stuff that I probably shouldn't be spending money on. But there was an event which led me to look or consider more options. And that is recently I picked up some hanging ab straps that attach to be a carabiner and they're supposed to connect to a pull-up bar, which I was doing but the carabiners themselves have been wearing on the powder coat from the pull-up bar and kind of ruining it, and that really kind of annoyed me. So much so, in fact, that I was considering buying a new pull-up bar, and then I got to thinking, why not kill two birds with one stone and get a new cross member in order to add some functionality, which I'll talk about in a second, as well as being able to move my pull-up bar to a different spot and complete that look that I was looking for. So that's exactly what I did. And the nice thing is, is this upgrade or this change out is a very affordable one to do. In fact, the piece that I added in here only cost $70. Now, of course, that's not including shipping and tax. After shipping and tax, it was like $91, but I ordered it and it was here in pretty much three days, which is very nice. And again, it gives me the look I'm going for, but also the functionality. And I say that because now that I have this front cross member, I can add in a bunch of other accessories if I want. So for instance, I have some carabiner attachments that go right into the cross member itself and that will make the ab straps easily connectable and removable anytime I want. I can also go as far as to add in my band pegs and use those as pull-up bars and adjust the width anytime I wanted to, or a wide range of other accessories that Rogue sells or even other companies sell as long as they fit that three by three, one inch hardware type construction. So a lot more options that way. As another bonus, because I moved my pull-up bar to the center of my rack, because I have it, why not use it? and I still intend to do pull-ups on that pull-up bar as well for other things, there's also some other features and benefits that come along with it. Number one, it makes the rack much more stable because again, there's more connecting pieces. And truth be told, it wasn't really necessary, but again, it's an added benefit of doing it this way. But also because I moved it from the front to the back, where it mounts is actually about two or three inches higher. And for someone like me who's a little bit taller at just under 6'4", I have a 90 inch rack and although ideally I'd have a 100 or 108 inch rack so I could do pull-ups without having to bend my knees or my legs at all, it's not very practical for when I eventually go back to the basement and don't have that high of ceiling heights that I have here in the garage. So having my 90 inch rack and my pull-up bar in the center gives me another two or three inches. And you guys know me, I've been saying this long enough, every inch matters, every half inch matters, every smaller increment matters as well because size is something we all care about. If not, why would I say stay big at the end of every video? So doing this upgrade was quick, easy, simple for me, and it was nice because you can actually color customize it to your rack or any color that Rogue offers at no additional cost, at least for the monster line. So a lot of times when you request certain items and you request certain colors, you have to pay an added fee for that. It was not the case here. Again, $91 shipped for this piece, which I think, again, makes the rack look a lot better and also function a lot better as well. Now, as far as the other Rogue racks that they offer and doing this to your Rogue rack, if you're looking for some customization options, you can still do it but it's not as nice as the Monster Series because the pricing starts to get actually more expensive, which is kind of rare when you're talking about Rogue and talking about going down their line of racks. So their Monster Rack is the top of the line. Most things for the Monster Rack are more expensive, but if you're to look at the cross members for the Monster Light Series, while you can get some cross members to go in the front, they're only sold in pairs, which means the cost is higher. Or if you wanna add in a nameplate because the rack you initially got didn't have a nameplate, you can do that, 
but I think the nameplate option for the Monster Light series is something like $225. So the Monster series here actually will save you some money if you're looking to do some upgrade modifications on it, but it's a great way to add maybe a little bit of flair or pop or color to complete the look of your rack as well as a hell of a lot more options and features and functionality. So if you're interested in doing something like this, I thought I'd just make a video. Again, the XM43 is the piece that I got. It retails for $70. You do have to just kind of put in a note to request whatever color you want. Otherwise, I think they'll send you a standard black one. But I think it was a quick, easy upgrade and well worth the purchase price. Hopefully you do too. If you have any questions about this or any other gear or equipment that I have, leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.